Hey viewers, welcome back to another video. Today, I want to showcase a team that got me around 200 ELO points. But that's after the fact. The day started pretty bad for me. So, I wanted to use the car here. Because I've been seeing it around for a while. And I've had one, not the greatest IVs, but I've had one. I wanted to try it. It only had one move. And I eventually um, gave it a secondary move after the after the fact. It didn't help me as much. Um, the counter and power punch combo worked just as well. I didn't get a chance to use Shadow Ball. Nonetheless, I wanted to use the carry. So I was trying to build a team around it. And I had a few successes here and there, but I was overall losing. So I paired up with Escav because Escav has the highest win rate for any single Pokemon in this league. So I started with the Escav and I had Cradily on the team because the team would be super weak to ground and fire. So I put Cradily on as the safe swap. And it worked for a few battles, but not the greatest as well. So I, I switched to from Cradle to, to Walrein. And again, I had success, but being that the entire team now is now weak to fighting and fire, I switched and I ultimately settled with Mawile as the third Pokemon. And after switching to Marwell, I went to 7 in 6. Sorry, 6 in 7. So I won 6 out of the 7 that I did with the team. And the first last came with a double fire team. All three Pokemons are weak to fire. Um, the Escav is Bug and Steel, the Marwell is Fairy and Steel, and Lucar is Fighting and Steel. I'm not sure when that battle came up. I actually put it in, but fire destroys the steam. Or at least double fire. So now we, we are with. So this is an example of how the steam works. We have the mock cargo, but because the incinerates register so slowly, I can afford to actually farm down the mock cargo. And being ramped up so much, anything that I bring in will be destroyed by the steam. So it's not that if the if the team goes up against a single fire Pokemon, you're fine. If you go up against a double fire, you're you're toast. Because any one of of the Pokemon can deal with the fire at the back. So the one lot the I I lost two times with this team. The two times I lose were against double fires. So Outside of those instances, I didn't see a lot of um, players running double fire, so this team could actually work for you. I saw a lot of Lapras in the lead, which were running water gun, and that works fine for the Escal. I mean, Lucario would have been a better matchup because it hits harder, but that's why I saved the Lucario for the closer. It hits harder, so I would, wouldn't have to worry so much about doing damage in the closing end of this uh, closing end of the battle. So I work with the ball character two and use Escava in the lead. There are a few things you'd have to shield against with Escav. But like I said, it's it takes the most win in the Mountain Cup, so having it on your team isn't bad. They weren't expecting double counter in this battle, as you could see, because they switched into another steel. Lucario is just going to eat this alive. We can take anything that's true, and we can just farm them. So, this team was wonderful for me. If I'm going to wait and see tomorrow, because I completed my sets for today, but I might just run it again, just to see what I pull up. 
but that would probably mean that I don't um, show any buttons in a video tomorrow because I don't think you guys want to see the same thing in two different two different videos so we'll see um, I made I invested about 500,000 stardust in a few Pokemon today so if not I'll run those I made a Shadow Gligar I made a Quagsire I think I made a Whiskash as well and I might make um, a Diggers B but it's only two days left where I am for the Mountain Cup so I might not invest any more Stardust into those Pokemon since most of them won't have any play in the regular league outside of this so I'll see how to tomorrow works and I'll invest in a new team this time but for this team, back to this team how this team works is that we start with Escav and if there's something we can't handle we swap into Marwile so we're using Marwile as a safe swap here we didn't want to swap in this battle um, because we wanted to save at least one of the, the fighters so they're taking both of our shoes here but Lucario with Power Punch is actually dangerous. And this is the battle I was telling you about. The double fire will destroy this team. We can't do anything. And this is the last we're taking this stars. And that's the main weakness to this team. We can de um, deal with Whiskash. The Scav can deal with Whiskash. We would have to shield, obviously. But we can deal with the Whiskash. We can deal with the, um, the Diggers B. Because it's part normal, we are double counter. We would probably have to burn both shields, but that's perfectly fine. We can deal with flyers with this team, it's just, we just can't handle the double fire. So, Escav in the lead. Um, you always want to go with the, the Mawile against another Mawile because they're going to kill themselves, which is fine. We have shield advantage in this. Now we have Lucario on the back. And we can just power up counted on this, this top us. We're going to get our charge moves, but again, we have two shields, so we're perfectly fine in this case. So yeah, coming in my while and Lucario close. Just like we're seeing now. This power punch will kill because we are ramped up, I think, twice already. And we're taking that win. Again told you we saw a lot of Lapras in the lead and we're running water gun. I mean the water guns do add up but they can't all pace us between the counters and drill run with Escav so this is fine so we're building up to two if they shield we have another one and I don't think they want to shield double shield their Lapras they're catching on a Lucario which is doesn't make any sense unless they shield so the Lucario goes down which would have been bad for us, so I'm glad the opponent did that, we can let this go. We can bring in either the Marwell or the Lucario, but I'm thinking Lucario because it's a better matchup. I made a mistake here. I should have built up to the Shadow Ball to give the impression that I did have Shadow Ball and that would have gotten a shield. So now they know that it's Power Punch since they're part flying, they resist the counter and the Power Punch. So I should have be, um, built up to the Shadow Ball at some point but to get the shield. I'm still getting it in the end, but under different circumstances that would have cost you the game. So play a little bit more smartly than me. I'll just build up to the new move to, if you need shields. Yeah, this is the matchup I'm talking about with the Whiskash and the Escav. It will outpace us. Uh, in terms of it spams the mud bomb very quickly but we hit hard with the counter again i made a mistake here i shouldn't have gone for the the mega horn i should have gone for the drill run because they were low enough for the drill run to take them out so going for the nuke at this point was stupid on my part so i gave up switch here which was bad now i showed my hand so the opponent is in a better decision-making position to actually win this battle but this is the power of lucario again 
with count and the power punch i didn't need the shadow ball i straight farmed down a fire type which lucario is weak against so that's why if you're wondering why it's ranked so early and i think lucario is going to sweep this entire team and even if it doesn't the fire fang marwell is in the back to take that win for us and yeah lucario sweep the entire team so it's great um, you can give that a try and let me know. Um, Preserka, I've never used it myself, but I've seen others use it and it hits hard. So you'd want to shield up against Preserka, and it was a good call on our part. We can take the Night Stash, but we're pretty low now, so we'd have to. We didn't get the attack, that was so painful. And FYI, for those of you who don't know, ground does not resist fire. Rock resists fire. And as you can see, Fire Fangma will actually destroy that flying ground Pokemon, Gligar. So, you might think this team would have been super weak to ground. It isn't. It's super weak to fire. And if you can manage your fire weakness, you can take a lot of wins with this team. We did well for me. Hope you guys find it useful. If you're brave enough to use it, um, drop a comment down below and let me know how it, how it worked for you. That's another win. I think our last hit we got a 5 0. So this team was great. I can't say anything else about it. If you do choose to run it though, I'd recommend you run it in the order I did. Or if you know a better way, you can let me know. I might try it out again. But yeah, Escaven the lead. Or using Marwell as a safe swap. And Lucario as a closer. I'm sure there are certain situations where having a Shadow Ball would come in handy. But all the battles that I've won with this team, Shadow Ball didn't have any use for me using the Lucario. So I'm sure there's situations where it can come in handy. So I'm not advocating not to use Shadow Ball. I'm just saying it didn't work for me. And if you have better IVs, that would also be helpful. It, especially if they're um, good PvP IVs, it would help you take hits a little better. I have no good IV Pokemon on this team, and it still works out well. So. Again, I mean, you can decide. You, you see the IVs on mine. Again, thanks for watching. Please drop a like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.